Hi guys and welcome to Smart Photo Reviews channel. Unpredictable weather is outside so we're back into our little improvised studio. Here we have a peak design everyday messenger 15 inches bag. Let's see how this bag's bag looks like in next several minutes. Keep watching. Now what about the exterior? The quality of materials is excellent, outstanding. These are premium materials as is expected in this price range. Uh, from the top part of the bag we have heavy duty handle. Also we have this zipper which is waterproof for accessing your uh, gear from the top. From the sides we have these little attaching points for uh, Peak Design uh, clips or some other accessories from both sides. From the front we have this kind of magnetic latches system to open and close the bag to access the main compartment. From the bottom we have enforced rubberized material uh, to help protect your uh, bag when you put it on the ground and it's dirty down there. You have additional part here that is for uh, attaching uh, the bag to the trolley when you're traveling. Also here is another sleeve that is meant uh, for 15 inches laptops as indicated by the manufacturer as advertised but uh, in practice you can only fit uh, MacBook Pro laptops. Here other laptops cannot fit because they are thicker. So keep that in mind. Also on the top we have this main strap for uh, carrying this bag on your shoulder. It is meant for carrying the bag on the left shoulder, like this, diagonally. But you can reverse it and make it uh, possible to carry it on the other shoulder. Uh, it, it is the same as a Big Design uh, camera sling strap. So the same functionality is available. You can adjust the strap like this very easily. It's even easier to adjust uh, when the bag is on your shoulder than when it's down. So you adjust it like this. It's a high quality strap and it's an excellent uh, feature of this bag. Now let's see the main compartment. We open it here on these magnetic latches. On the upper part we have this little sleeve for attaching the tripod. How do we put the tripod? You just slide uh, one leg of the tripod here, then the other two uh, up around uh, this cover. Then you close the bag and you have also this rubber band provided for attaching the legs of the tripod so, uh, to secure it more more securely on this uh, bag if you carry it. Uh, regarding main compartment, as you can see here, you have two Velcro dividers, like this. They are like origami shaped, so you can adjust them the, any way you want. Some best solution is to divide this bag interior in thirds and then if you want to put uh, one lens on the other adjust the dividers like this to protect to protect lenses from scratching and in the middle you can put your camera which uh, we will see uh, a bit later on here is the only sleeve the only pocket compartment as you wish that is given by Peak Design on this bag. Here you can put some batteries or memory cards. You have these colored threads, uh, red and black, so you can divide your used and full batteries or used and full memory cards. 
full or empty memory cards, in fact. These are some other sleeves for some other very thin stuff, but as you can see, you don't have any space for storing some three-dimensional items. Uh, these uh, sleeves are only meant for some really, really thin two-dimensional items, so bear that in mind if you want to carry some triggers, flashes, etc. You have to put them in the main compartment. So that's what the interior of this bag looks like. You have some additional stabilizing straps that go around your waist here, and they are really hard to release, to take out from these little cuts. Here's one part, and the other part is here. All right. So you attach them like this. And then uh, your bag is more stabilized around your waist. You have also additional little clip, the same as uh, on a big design sling strap for your keys or something like that you want to hang there. Putting back is also a bit of a drag. As you can see, if only they made these cuts a bit wider, they would facilitate a lot this action that takes a lot of time and shouldn't take that much time to do it. As you can see, this one too, and that's it. So now we will show you how this bag looks like when it's loaded with some uh, photo gear. We have used Nikon D500 with battery grip attached and standard kit lens, and also additional lenses that we have put on, it, on either side. Like this. So uh, we can say that you can comfortably fit uh, Pro DSLR with battery grip attached and uh, even uh, 70 to 200 lens attached because you have enough, uh, enough height to do it. And also uh, using these innovative dividers like this, you can put some additional lenses or flash guns or something else here. So, in fact, you can carry a camera with battery grip and uh, 70 to 200 millimeters attached along with uh, four additional lenses or two or three, de depending on the size of the lenses. But uh, some maximum size of the lens should be around 70 to 200. Or you can, uh, instead of carrying uh, one lens, carry a flash gun or something like that. So, that's how the interior looks like when it's loaded. So let's hear some final conclusions and sentences about uh, this bag. Uh, Peak Design is famous for uh, its innovative and uh, modern products, and this bag is also one of these products. Uh, as you can see, this system of closing and opening is innovative and different than the others, but it is, it is advertised as completely sli silent, which it isn't. Because when you work with these magnets and these magnetic metal latches, you certainly hear some sound. Maybe you don't hear it now, but believe me, you can hear it. Uh, one uh, nice feature is this zipper that you can access your equipment without opening the bag. Also a nice feature is are these additional attaching points for clips or additional gear. You can put MacBook Pro here, which is a nice feature, but only MacBook Pros, no other Windows 15 inches laptops, which are too thick. So about the strap, the strap is excellent feature because the Peak Design Sling Strap is an excellent product and by its own it's very pricey and expensive so as a part of this bag it, it should uh, give a bigger price of this bag and this bag has a premium price as you will see on the links we provide. Regarding interior, 
these dividers are original, are intuitive and innovative, so you can organize the interior of the bag the way you want it, and you can carry vertically two or more lenses. Uh, there is not enough space for additional three-dimensional items, as I said before, so bear in mind that you won't be able to carry a lot of uh, extra accessories in this bag. This system here, this sleeve for attaching the tripod, is uh, uh, well taught, but uh, what is the point of carrying the tripod on this kind of bag and carrying it uh, on the top of the bag? Maybe some system for attaching it down there would be a better feature. Because when you put all the accessories and gear in this bag, and also you put a tripod, you have so many uh, weight on your shoulders that uh, it should be too much to carry around a longer periods of time. So, in that respect, we don't see the point of attaching the tripod, and also, you cannot attach the small tripod. I mean, you can, but you have to extend the legs to fit the width of this bag. So, what's the point of attaching the tripod if you can, cannot attach the smallest tripod you can? So, that's about the main features, the main good and bad stuff about this uh, Peak Design bag. Uh, if you liked our video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button so you get notified about every our new upload. Also, like, comment, share your opinions with us. We will be more than pleased to reply to your comments. Until next time, we're saying bye-bye from Smart Photo Reviews channel.